Today we're going to be making this simple, easy macrame plant hanger, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Sheena Joy, and if macrame is your jam, then subscribe and hit the bell notifications. To start, we're going to attach all six cords using a lark's head knot on our ring. Be sure to find the center of your rope by folding it in half. To create your lark's head knot, you put the loop end through your ring and pull the tail ends through. Make sure it's snug. I find that it helps to pull each strand individually. Next, grab any two cords on opposite ends and we're going to be tying our spiral knots. To make a spiral knot, you fold your left cord across your center cords and then the right cord goes in behind and through the left loop. We're going to be doing this 12 times. As always, I invite you to go check out my knot tutorial playlist if you are unfamiliar with your knots. Now that you got the hang of it, I'm going to speed it up here. Because we have so many center cords, sometimes it doesn't spiral as nicely, so don't be afraid to give it a little extra twist. Once you have all 12 knots and you're happy with your spiral, let's move on. Divide your cords into three groups of four. It helps to get them up and out of the way while you work. Next, working with one of your sections, we're going to be tying 12 square knots. A square knot is very similar to a spiral knot, so you will want to make a loop with the left and pull your right cord through, and then you do the same thing but the opposite side. You make a loop with your right and then you pull your left cord through, and that creates one square knot. So I'll demonstrate in real time again for you. You make a loop with your left and pull the right cord through, bringing that up to the top, and then you make a loop with your right and then put the left cord through your right loop. Alrighty, I'm going to speed it up again and then show you what to do next. One of the things that I love about macrame is that if you make a mistake, you can always untie it. There's no pressure here. Okay, moving along, we're going to be tying 12 spiral knots again. A spiral knot is really just one half of a square knot. So, because we're only tying one half, our little spiral knot feature section is going to be shorter than the main body of the square knot sections. Okay, let's motor on past this section and then I'll show you a neat trick. At this point, you're going to notice that your two outside cords are going to be shorter than your two center cords. To solve that problem, we're going to switch them. And we can get away with it here because we're hiding our knot underneath our spiral knots and nobody's going to notice except for other textile artists with a train eye. By doing this little trick, it saves you on wasting excess rope. I'm curious to know if other textile artists do this trick too. If that's you, let me know in the comments below. Alrighty, let's carry on and I'm going to tie all 12 square knots. If you're enjoying this video so far, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you in my little macrame community. Okay, that was just one section and yep, we are going to have to do the other two sides. So, camera trick. <laughs> Ta-da! If only it was that easy, hey? Okie dokie. Now we need to join our sections together by tying a square knot. So I'm tying my square knot at about 4 inches below our last square knot. You don't necessarily need to measure it and make sure that it's perfect. It really kind of depends on the size of your pot. So I suggest just sticking your pot in there and holding it up to make sure that it fits properly. Next I'm getting down on the floor to tie a gathering knot. So with a separate piece of cord we're going to make a loop at one of the ends with the small tail facing up and we're gonna wrap our longer tail around our loop. Make sure you get the small tail end out of the way. So we're gonna wrap it around several times here. And once you work your way down to the bottom where our loop is, we're gonna put our tail end through the loop. And then grab your short tail end and we're gonna be pulling this up tight. This secures your knot and hides your loop inside of our gathering knot. 
And then we snip off our shorter end here and be very careful not to snip other cords. Before I trim off the ends, I like to put my pot in just to make sure that everything is right. It also helps me gauge where I want my final cut to be. And there you have it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support is greatly appreciated and I hope you consider subscribing. Also, here are two more videos I think you'll enjoy. I'll see you over there.